Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad. So let's get started. Go right into your settings, under your settings, go right into general, under general, second option, software update. From software update, you guys should see something popping up. If you don't, just turn off and not on automatic updates. That should refresh for things for you and you should be able to see this. From there, just press on update now, put in your passcode, and then just let it run. If you guys are having any issues with this, just hook up your iPad to your computer. So if you guys have a Mac, you guys can go ahead and back it up plus update with Finder. On PC, you guys can use iTunes in order to update and backup. Usually I always suggest making a backup. However, this update's pretty small. Won't take that much time. Yes, the downloading time does depend on your internet speed. However, the installing time takes seconds. Well, it depends really on which iPad you guys have. If you guys have the newer version, it's gonna take a few seconds. If you obviously have an older version, it might take a little bit more. Now that said, make sure you guys have enough space on your iPad not just the basic minimum that you guys need that's gonna ask you for if you guys are running out of space, but make sure you have us, you guys have double of whatever it's telling you. And just in case you guys are afraid or don't want to erase certain files to make that happen, then go ahead and just delete some apps that you guys can just re-download. So for example, one that I noticed that takes up a lot of space for me is Netflix for some reason. It takes up quite a bit of space. Um, Disney Plus as well, for some reason. Not so sure why. Uh, some social media stuff also takes a ton of gigs, so you may want to delete those. You can just reinstall them, and then you're done. You, you haven't lost anything. But as far as this video goes, all we have to do is just wait for this. It's just going to uh, restart, and then that's it. We can just leave our iPad to be for now and just come back to it later on. All right, so your iPad should have restarted. You guys want to see an Apple logo loading bar, and then right here, you would be done. Just scroll up, type in your passcode. Go into settings and make sure that everything went okay by just going to software update and seeing that you are in fact in the latest iPad OS. Anyways, that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys want to in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.